Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and we are on the last and final day of corned beef hash week. We've saved the best for last, and why is this the last one? Well, this is the Hormel Mary Kitchen corned beef hash home style. It is America's number one selling hash. That's right, number one selling, which means the best for last, hopefully, We'll it's, find out at the end of this episode because at the end we'll tell you which was our best and worst of the week. Because let's face it, when you think of canned meat, you're going to think of Hormel Spam, right? That is yep. the king of canned meat. And so hopefully they know what they're doing with corned beef hash because apparently there's a lot of words to this. Mary Kitchen, corned beef, Mary Kitchen hash, also? home style man that's a lot <laughs> it is a lot and they definitely want to let you know that it's the number one selling but other than that the packaging doesn't really sell you on it because the the corned beef hash is just too too close the picture that is of it yes i agree because all the others kind of go out of their way to like give you a plate almost yeah. like a serving suggestion of how to do it whereas there is an egg on here but it's it's just too up close so it's not my favorite packaging so this has been a really interesting week because it seems the biggest problem with this kind of product is the salt level. Mm -hmm. These things are very salty. So hopefully this is not. I like how many potatoes it looks like there's in there. Yeah, I do too, but looks like there's a lot of meat in here too. Cause I feel like in a product like this, it has to be mostly potato and just a little bit of meat. I agree. It smells pretty good though. It does smell good. I'm hopeful for it because I'm looking at a lot of potato. There is a lot of meat though, so hopefully it's a good ratio. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up, bite again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This thing is actually not bad. It's pretty good. I just felt like there was one problem, which is interesting because this week the potatoes were always salty and the meat was okay, but in this one, I feel like it's the other way around. The meat is salty and the potatoes are fine. I just think that the seasoning could be a little bit better, but I would actually say this is not bad, not as salty as like the others, but I just didn't like the fact that the beef was very salty. Not a bad product though, but would I buy this again? Thumbs down. Wow. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Not how I saw that going. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I feel the same. I think that the meat, I'm torn because the meat actually, I think of all of them, in this one seems almost like a better quality or maybe just better texture is what I'm thinking. Cause the thing is the meat in here is a little bit larger chunks or like bits compared to the others. So I feel like in each bit of meat, you do get more of that mouth feel of the texture, which was nice. Cause like the Libby's one, for instance, was very like gritty and grainy. This one had more of like an actual meat texture and it also tasted a little smoky, which was kind of nice. But at the same time, I feel like whenever you have a smoky flavored meat, it also inherently is salty. And then the meat itself was also salted even more. So then it was just way over salted, not as much as Libby's, but it was pretty salty. I loved the potatoes and I loved That's the amount thing. of potatoes. I love the potatoes too. I thought that was awesome. I wanted to like this. Unfortunately, it's a freaking meat, man. Yes, and I feel like because Hormel makes the Spam, I feel like they're used to them like overly salting things because Spam is very salty as well, you know? And I feel like that's kind of the vibe I got here is that you know you're gonna have something really, really salty, so maybe balance it out with something. But it's like, if you think about it, a lot of breakfast is like salty, so I don't want it to be overly salty. All right, guys, now the week is up. We gotta decide which one was our favorite and which one was our least favorite. I think this week 
was pretty clear, right? So we're gonna start off with the least favorite. So my least favorite was the Libby's. Main reason, it was nothing but a salt bomb. Too much freaking salt. It was intense. What about you? For me, the clear loser of the week and the clear loser of almost every week is Libby's. Now, what I do want to note, because the issue is the salt there. So Libby's, for instance, has 1400 milligrams of salt in one serving of it. Whereas all of the others were like 970, 980 and um, yeah, 970. So it's almost 500 more than any other. Which is insane because you really notice it. Yes. Crazy, man. And I feel like whenever you see like over salting of things to that extreme, I feel like it's usually because they're hiding bad quality stuff yeah. with a lot of salt. It's the bottom of the barrel meat. It's Mystery ConAgra. Meat. Oh. It's ConAgra, man. <laughs> ConAgra, if you've seen our videos, oh, they're only good at one thing, which is effing like a, a product that's been around for a long time. They're good at effing it up. Yes. Just, I don't know, like this is a company that's just up to no good or something, you know? Yes. It's really a shame because they don't live too, or their headquarters is not too far from us, right? But. We gotta speak the truth here. They're up Maybe to no Maybe they should take a meeting with us. Exactly, we should just like uh, uh, spend two hours yelling at them, right? Yes. <laughs> Bring out each product and yell at them. Yes. So now the best of the week. The best of the week is a shocker here because its name is Best Choice. Wow. And for me, that was the best, man, because the salt wasn't too bad. I liked the way they seasoned the meat, the potatoes. It was just a, just an all around good canned corned beef hash. Um, yeah, I was really shocked about that. And what about you? All right, well, it was between the only two that got a thumbs up this week, which is the armor and the best choice. One of these is easier to find than the others, but I would go out of my way to buy the best choice. I think that they were just the clear winner of the week. There was not really anything wrong with any of the product as a whole. And the only sucky part is that it's not like you can get this at Walmart or Target or something. You have to do go like out of your way to go to a, a mom and pop type grocery store. But I think it's well worth it because overall that dish was just so much more versatile because it wasn't overly salted, wasn't overly seasoned. It just let the actual meat and potatoes like speak for themselves. And even though you have to go out of your way to get it, the good thing about this is that it's got a long shelf life. So yes. you can just buy it, store it when you're ready for it. When next time, hopefully next time, a, you know, thing doesn't happen. But if it does, you're ready for it. That's right. To sum it up on this one, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.